Welcome everyone, Tasty here. Before we get into it, some modifications and activities that we talk about in this podcast are not to be attempted or recreated. Please leave it to the trained professionals. And remember, always keep it between the ditches. Don't do anything we wouldn't. So slap seatbelts on your ears and let's get to it. Welcome to Tasty and Gobshite. Shed Talks. Tasty. Gobshite. Let we are fucking 12 episodes in now, 11 or 12. And you finally, that is the first time we have gone the intro I know, without properly. having to take it again. <laughs> I know, I know, I thought the same, I was like, oh, mint. Yeah. I was going to give you kind of a nervous stare. <laughs> it's just awkward, I always try to get it done. I always laugh. Giggles. Giggles, yeah. Yeah, all giggles and shits till someone shits it's and giggles. giggles. <laughs> well, Ted. Well, Ted, let's address the elephant in the room. We have our banner. Oh, yeah. I got the banner. Finally. Finally. Okay. Now we just need to build the room. Hi. Right. It took a while to get back. Give me time. <laughs> <laughs> Better get fucking cracking. No, I'm too busy. Oh. No, so, yeah. It has been... An oolong time. It's nearly been a month since we've been in the shed. Is it? Yeah. Well, together. Together, yeah. Yeah. It has nearly been a month since we've sat down and recorded it. I'm not going to lie, I'm sick of going to the shed. <laughs> <laughs> Constantly doing shit. Um, it's yeah. great, but I'm tired. A uh, few things to talk about. A lot of things to talk about, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have a few videos to make and um, TikToks and... Shout out, yeah. Shout out to the mugs again, draw. <laughs> Shout out to mugs! <laughs> Her name is not mugs. Her name is Amy. Amy what? Amy's Attic Creations. Good job. So you know, like, I didn't have to go fucking... Got it again. I know you did, like... <laughs> oh. Oh. Mugs. So, Sounds like a good day. So, yeah. Right, so... The saga it. has fucking finished. There's no car on the lift. I know. It's kind of sad, but not really. Yes, the saga has finished. Yeah. She's off the lift. And she's going on the road. Mint. Um, stressful. It wasn't really... St- yeah, it was, yeah. It was not fucking stressful. You took your time at it. There was no way you were stressed about it. No, I was stressed because I, I had to keep buying shit. Broke something or done this. And and the big one. I burnt my car. That was a good one. Yeah. Mm. yeah so. I'm looking at the seat and I'm ah, like... Yeah. We could had take a photo of it. Had you it. have not been in the oh, no, shed. We, no, we said 30 seconds. Because normally what happens is we're going down. We'll be chatting away. If we had done that, that was fucked. And it was on the side of the filler cap. That didn't matter. Oh, shit, sure, there was no tank. Yeah, 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 everything else. Yeah. Um, it literally... It, another 30 seconds and uh, it would have been forget. Bye-bye. Glad. Because... Uh, well, honestly, so exactly, what you know, I'll you explain what happens <laughs> because no one knows, and we have to say it. No, I need to, you know, get words out of my mouth. Like, hold on one second. I'll Sorry I, if I, I gulped into the mic there. I, I had gulped. I know. I, I like, seen oh, you, shit. and I was like, I need a drink now. Right. So, obviously, a few lads helping. We're walking away. A do. few. There was a fucking army of lads here. Army of slaves. <laughs> <laughs> but. uh we, we had two of the leads. There was always someone on fire safety. And small man didn't do his job. Or you can fucking see that. Uh, to be fair, he probably couldn't see it from that one. No, it was, it's not his fault at the end of the day. Like, you know. What, being small or not seeing it? Both. She was way too high for him. Fuck me. No, we had a letter. <laughs> <laughs> he was just on his phone. But it didn't matter anyway. Cause, fucking so phones. where it was, it was, there was literally a small... Like, everywhere was just the arch. And then there was a small patch where there was just a little rust. And obviously it got bigger. So anyway, cut it out. Had it done. Lads welded it. Because I was doing something with the the bonnet. So I was getting ready to go cut the fiberglass bonnet. And uh, I was only sitting up here on one of the chairs. And uh, they had gone away from it. They were done. They had it done. They were on the other side doing something else, welding. Uh, I'd say about 15 minutes later, we always leave the doors open just because. Just in case there's smoke or anything. And take fuck we did. So I was sitting there, I was talking to Kieran actually, and um, I was there just playing away with this thing, and whatever, I was looking up, he was talking, I was like, 
that's a lot, a lot of smoke, like. I was like, that, that, that's not right. And as I was literally half getting off the chair, Dylan walked in the door, looked at me, because he saw me looking, looked up and went, fire! <laughs> oh, boy. We ran like fucking bags of shit, or I don't know what they're saying. Ran like bags of shit. I don't know, there's a saying. I you don't ran know. like shit from a goose. No, there's a different <laughs> one. I'll think of it later. The bat over the hill? No, no, something else. Anyway, so. A bag of shit. I don't know what it is. We'll figure it I'll remember it, I'll say it later. It's watery shit if it's running. Um, so, we had the ladder obviously there. So I ran up the thing and there was only an air hose. It was just because it was there. So I grabbed it to see what the fuck was actually happening. And I was there like trying to stop it from getting flames only just hitting up high. Because, you know, the flames were fair big like, you know, they were getting high. And um, I was mid-sentence of shouting to people being like, someone get a fire extinguisher. And as I said it, extinguisher, and I looked back at the fire, Dylan had already gotten the fire extinguisher. There was no ladder on the other side. The door was opened. So the car was up high. He just went, pulled the pin, pulled the trigger. <laughs> I, extinguisher, bang, in my face. Eyes burnt, mouth could taste it for two days later. But did it put out the fire? I put out the fire. Oh, yeah. It did, because I literally, I was, and one of the lads then, small man actually, had literally came over with the fire extinguisher and um, was like, here you go. And I was like, I couldn't see. A I, lot of fucking good it was then when the I, car was on fire. I know. I couldn't see. I was like, I can't see. And I had to go out to check because it got so smoky and with the fucking thing and my face. Um, Kieran thought I was crying. He came out, he was going to give me a hug, he said. And I was like, no, lad, I can't see. He hit me in the face with the fire extinguisher. He was like, oh, that would do it. I was like, yeah, I had to get water. I was fucked. Um, but yeah, that was... That was the only mishap that we actually had. You know, that was a bad one. You know, all small ones, you know, cracking bolts and snapping bolts. But, uh, so, oh yeah, d- uh, shout out then to um, Lexi Break, actually. Because uh, I was looking at seats. 200 euros for a set up, up the country, I don't know where it was again, for a whole top and bottom. Like, But I only needed a top. No one's going to sell, you know, half a set. It's like, well, fuck it, anyway. And I needed an ABS sensor because that burnt. And I needed a seatbelt because that burnt also. And I just literally texted him, sent him a photo. And I went, any chance you've got a seat led? <laughs> and they said this and this. He went, yeah, I do. Look it. You poor bastard. 120 euros or something. I was like, oh, thank oh, fuck. Oh, man. Oh, it's like, Jesus Christ. And this was that. And then I had to go off as well. I think I bought it on Flow. I had Rank Group D, but I didn't have them on Flow to buy two new ABS sensors as well, just because the other one was fucked also. Yeah. Um, so that was the stressful moment, you know, because when we finally took it off, the wiring loom was, oh, two centimeters away from it. Did and it get the loom? Barely. It barely got the loom. It got the sensor that connects for the ABS sensor yeah. going down into the hub. That one burnt to a crisp. Forget about that one. But literally, you followed that wire going to the loom and it literally just stopped where it was burnt and then the rest of it was good and then the loom was there. I was like, lad. Another 30 seconds and the car was gone. Like, with it being on fire and the loom totally fucked. Like... What would you have done if the loom burnt? I would have sat in the car. <laughs> and we would have went up in flames. <laughs> And I'd say the lights were the setting as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Owen cleaned the car in, obviously. Because it was his fault you went in front. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, it was actually, it wasn't too bad. We cleaned it afterwards. And yeah. Can, can, you, can you still get the smell of. No, it was only. The powder, no, I don't smell it at all now. It was only the powdery stuff. I thought it was fine. It's a big mess, but once you start wiping and cleaning, sure, yeah. it all went onto the seat. Anyway, sure, they threw out and it was all fine. Um, that was only the big one. Uh, I'd say we had the car done anyway on the Sunday. It was a Sunday night at 12 o'clock, fully done. Dropped it down. I had it lowered in such a way. Drove up the road and I was like, ah, shit. It was... Any chance anyone has windows open in their cars? Just no. Okay. 
It's just raining. So if anybody is listening with headphones and we sound like we are shouting into the mics, we're sorry. It has stopped, started raining. Yeah. So anyway, um, we had the car done Sunday. It was done at 12 o'clock. But we drove up the road and sure it was arching like crazy on the rear and I was like, oh, balls. Um, so we had to bring it back and readjust it and do everything. So we finally didn't leave till 2 o'clock that night and sure the car wasn't trapped. So I said, I need petrol anyway in the morning for Monday. So I'd go back to town early um, and driving. <laughs> it was like a crab. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I couldn't go fast. I couldn't drive. I, uh, like you go around the bin, the next thing you start just pulling me, and I'm like, no. So I eventually, I was like, no, I can't. I can't go to work. I was like, I'll just take the golf. She was going in anyway, so she dropped me in. And um, I was like, what we'll do now is tonight, I'll just throw it up in the lift again, and I'll eyeball it and just try tracking such an eyeball that I can drive it. And when we done that anyway, I took the first spin. Oh, boy. Oh, the lead. It was so yoked to go there. It was, it feels so, it, people like, I remember, what's you call it, boys in LSD and they were saying that sometimes it feels stiff. I think my car was just so knocky that it feels deadly now. Yeah. Like, I left it go on for too long, like where, my problem was, there was probably a ball joint gone and I... Probably, had, it was hanging out of her. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Every bump you feel it knocking whack. Feel it, you'd hear it too. Yeah. So I'll like, just turn these back down again. Like yeah. so, I literally just um, once I drove it and changed, and everything was changed. Like it's got a whole everything done. Some amount of money put into it, and it's still not finished. It's not. There's plans. There's still plans. I just I'm sure every car is like that. I know. Yeah. Every car is like that. Do you know? Like. Even the red one there. After the Miguel, she's getting a full. I know, like oh, full overhaul. Like it, it just feels so nice. Like it's stuck to the rod, and then with the bloody tires, the tires, it's just oh, well, you're just hammering it going around corners, and it's handling it. Like even though it's a real drive, I'm gonna you, gonna stick with my eye links. I think. Oh boy, they just like they stick to the road. Like I took it back to Dingle there, and I was just like. Led, you don't feel how fast you're going. Like, no. obviously, going the speed limit, but I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that is. Like, in fairness, you took your time at it. Like, you know, there was no point in rushing something like that. No, I didn't want to rush it because I just wanted it done perfectly and just done right. And I wouldn't have to come back after it and shit like that. Which I actually have to go back after it anyway because for some bloody reason, the release bearing is rattling. After I changing it, so you and release bearings. Swear to God, boy, I'll make my own release bearing. I'd nearly put the old old stock one that I had when I changed when I had the flywheel and clutch changed first. I'd nearly put that old one in because that didn't make a noise. I still have it. It's in the box over there. I'd nearly put that put in. Put that back in. I nearly will. Like if like oh boy. Wait, have you used the second one I bought you? No. Try that one first. But that's the same as the one. I'm sure it might be different just because I bought it. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't know. Is it the one you bought or I bought it because they're the same thing? Wally. Just in case no one know, we done Secret Santa. Told them, oh, I need this. And Do you we know? actually outed ourselves on the last podcast yeah, we did. Yeah. And you About that episode, which is still on the hard drive. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Yeah. Oh, my God, man. But anyway, yeah. So the car... What was it? The Monday anyway, we had good, yeah, driving um, track to Tuesday in work because I had to drop it into Tralee. So I was in there anyway and then to work and tracked it. It was deadly. And that Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, we went up the country. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday morning. Saturday morning, left the house at 6 o'clock or something like that. All the way up to Port Rush. The whole way up the country. And I'm not going to lie, three things fell off the car. <laughs> <laughs> we're I was with you and you never told me any of this. Oh, I thought I told you. No. I swear we did. You, anyway. You barely say hi to me anymore, you bollocks. I'm sorry, I'm not too <laughs> tired. But. So three things fell off the car anyway. We, we were driving up and uh, 
something fell off and you could hear bing off the run off to the car and I, I looked at you know, one and I went uh and on she turned up the radio <laughs> we just started singing away and then so all I done was press the pedal and I went eh, we're good the main safe things are you know, obviously we didn't need it if it fell off yeah you know. weight reduction yeah yeah I was like I changed the engine in a Skoda Octavia before <laughs> Uh, the engine we took out is something like 483,000 miles, isn't it? And th- it wasn't a taxi at all. It wasn't an ex-taxi. It was his daily car. Like. Uh, so we changed the engine in it and started it Friday evening. Sunday evening we were driving down the road. And he said, fuck it, I think we deserve a point after that anyway. I said, no bother. So we hit for the pub. First bin coming down his road. Ting, 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 ting. And a clunk. No. She stayed driving, but we reckon we left a spanner somewhere in her. That because we had been looking for a spanner, I think it was a fourteen or a seventeen. We couldn't find it. We heard it ting 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 clunk going down the road. And <laughs> I just looked and went, I "Think I know where that spanner went?" <laughs> oh, it is just it is a stress relief to have it done as well. Do you know? Oh, it is like. And also now, like, it's going for NCT. I don't know when exactly, but, like... My God, if he, my man says there's something wrong, I'll... Mm, go in with a hammer. And I'll be like, show me. Because, <laughs> like... Uh, but, no. Uh, I love the car, no. And the, the big exhaust coming out the rear of it, like... That fucking thing? Fuck's sake, if you need to change the spark plug, you could walk up the exhaust to do it. <laughs> this is some yoke. Yeah. Like, not, like, this is probably a bit too loud, like, because, uh. Does the silencer fit? Not the one that I have? Yeah. No. See, does that fit mine, actually? My yoke's after getting louder. It does, actually, but I think Dylan's taking it. Oh, fit, fits his one. Fuck him. Sure, he won't be driving for another two years. <laughs> <laughs> no, hopefully, for Dunny Gall, but that's the next one that's coming into it. Well, no, that's was crazy. What was your favourite part of doing it? What was the favourite part? Making the exhaust, because it was, do you know? Yeah. It was... But you see, you took your time at it, so you could take... So you could take in... Shit, sorry. You could take in what was going on around you. When I did my car, I hadn't time to think. Like... Well, no, that was the weekend. That was that weekend I had no time to think. We were trying to get it done. But oh, yeah. With the but, do you know, like, you had your eight weeks to do it. Whereas I was like, this day is getting closer. I have to fucking. I was yeah. skipping food, like. I was the same, but it was just the fact that what screwed me over. We would have had it done in like four days, the whole build, but it was the fact that rushed. Killed me. That rushed was, is the killer. It is. Not anymore, but. <laughs> it's all Schultz now and everything, like we done, took off everything. Except the engine and the gearbox. Well, actually, I took off the gearbox, but Schultz, everything. All the way, every arch. There'll be a video on it as well, probably. On YouTube, whatever it's edited. Um, but yeah, Schultz everything, cleaned everything, had the leads. Oh, Shane was wire brushing like crazy. Men left a different race. Like, and we got goggles, we got masks. Man, it still didn't matter. It goes everywhere. Yeah. It goes no, you were, snee- you were blowing your nose by it. It was black. Sh- oh, boy. It goes and we still had, oh. Yeah. Because um. uh, we want to clean up the shed and then re-grease the bloody lift because the amount of dust and dirt and everything, like, just because of it. Because yeah. we actually could hear it when we were using, using the Lexus on the lift and we were dropping it down and going up sometimes. You could hear the stuff hitting it. And I was like, balls. That'll be in. She'll get over it. No, but <laughs> make it last forever. They will last forever. Ah, <sighs> but uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. No, there's new, new everything. Polybush kit, whole full one. Uh, new handbrake shoes, new handbrake kit, new handbrake cables, new ball joints all round, track rods, inner tie rods, CV boot. What else is done? Coilovers, the HSD ones from Driftworks. Tyos. That was another thing, actually. Man, they were a prick to put on the tyres. They There's were fine, fine putting the them on. They were grand. Pumping them up. Pumping them. They're such a hard compound. Oh, man. 
We, I literally was using the lead and work moss, like, and we were there. Well, we. He was doing it. He just took off and went, come out the way. And he, he just get the cheese here and he's... <sighs> took a few attempts, like. Sometimes I find there, if they won't go with the bead blaster, put a ratchet strap around the tyre. Oh, no, my idea was, like, I was like, lads, I was like, come on, we'll just get some spray, spray it around it and light, and then pump it as well. No, like, all we do is put a ratchet strap around the tyre. Yeah, just till it hits the bead. And yeah, it. sure. Yeah, we have the bonnets and the wings to go on still. Um, I didn't. What is the actual issue with the bonnet and wings? I know the wings are broken. Why isn't the bonnet on? I want to put the bonnet on because the wings aren't on. <laughs> oh. I wanted them all to go on on the same time. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> just and it's just the fact that what happened was they were painted and they were put out of the way near the big shed door that no one opens because it's blocked off anyway. So, one of the lads went over, and I don't even know what he done. He kicked the thing and knocked the wing. So I fell on the floor, and I just went, I walked out the room. I went away. I just went out there, and I, I was doing something. I had to. I was going to hit him with the spanner. Anyway. You should have hit him. No. Do you know what, actually, what really annoyed me? We put a flag up. I don't know which one it was. We put a flag up about 20 minutes later. The thing fell. He done that. Knocked it. So, that was fine. All right. Wing fell. Look, shit happens. The next day, or the two days later, we put up another flag. What happened then? Herself done something. And knocked the other wing. You wouldn't care if it was the same wing. Knocked the other wing. So, I hate putting flags up. Because I'm afraid. Like, we put that up today. I'm not bringing the car in. There's no car going in today. I swear to God, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but fuck me, Pink. But coincidence? I think not. <laughs> I just think. But it's weird. <laughs> but, but like, think about it. We put a flag up. Twenty minutes later, wing got knocked over. Or like, no, we it's... no, no. We were we were putting up a flag, and the there was a <coughs> the bonnet was here. They wanted to put up the flag, and I no, it was not going up. And she, she was adamant about it going up and I was like I swear to god that is not going up today leave it off and actually it wasn't whose car was inside in Callum's or something I was doing the lead's exhaust I was like no I was like poor lead's ex- car or something will happen to it. so when the flag goes up car's not coming in that's gone up there's no car coming in here <laughs> this end of so I you put up one two three four five six seven flags in here eight and three bad things have happened but it was weird I know but you see you had my two flags up and nothing happened Um, the back seat of the Lexus but they were put up well before you put the Lexus in here maybe it just took that long no you were just high it seems, <laughs> it seems to be anything you own that you've put up <laughs> no because I think we have three or four flags up and then it was only two had yeah. I, I don't even remember which ones it was but yeah, so literally when the second wing went and fell, uh, I think I flung a spanner. But I, I, not at her, just onto the ground. I had to go away. I went into the third shed. I still haven't even found the spanner. Oh, the oh no, it went off the ground. I, I, it bounced up. I oh, used to leave distance. the roller door open in the shed. Oh, like. Before the all because I threw a spanner. <laughs> and it went out the door and into a pile of gorse and... It don't have to go yeah. No, I had to go. I just, I just had to go. It, no it was the fact that the, it was just the fact that the second wing was, you know. So I'm like bollocks. Are they broken? They're slightly damaged. Oh fuck! They need to be redone, like all that. Oh fuck! Yeah, they they need to be filled, sanded, filled, sanded, painted, all the shebang, all again. Fuck that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I must actually get my back bumper done now after last week. Because um, parked up at the funeral and uh, lad opened his door straight out of my back bumper. Nice, mm. nice. But it barely it, it barely touched it, and I was like, "Oh, it's fine." But when he got out of the car, obviously she lifted. Yeah, I it. um I had I wasn't driving it. I had Sarah drive it to work because it's just easy. So she drove it to work and she parks it right outside her workplace. Mm-hmm. And whatever way, one of the girls inside said, "Uh." Do you know your one who's 
kneeling down to the car. It was a girl um, and her boyfriend. Your one was kneeled down against the car. Hand on the back bumper, or on the back quarter panel. That was after it was being painted, like. Hand fully on it. And your one comes out. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, you wouldn't, an- wouldn't answer. And she was like, what are you doing? No, but wouldn't answer. And your man went, oh, is this your car? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing, like? They just wouldn't answer. They got up and left. And she was like, and then one of the girls at work with her came out as well, like, what the fuck are you doing? They wouldn't answer. They just walked away. Lad, Who lad, goes down and touches the officer? Not even like, going down. Honestly, if you see cars, don't put your fucking hands in them. Yeah. Like. Because you don't know. There's grease. There's shit on your hands. It ruins the paint. Exactly. And especially after being painted, like. Because I swear as well, but I actually fresh see paint, it. No. What's worse is, I actually think I see it. But you know why? Fresh paint takes about two weeks to harden. Yeah, like, so that's stupid. Mm, but hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So but just this is just an announcement to yeah, anyone yeah. attending car shows, car meets, or sees a nice car in public. Yeah, do don't not put your hand on them. And, yeah. Look, don't touch. Yeah. Like, I'm Please. so... I'm so afraid <laughs> when I have my wings oh. and bonnets on. Like, they're fiberglass. It's like the LSD podcast. I know, the got thing. in the shit now. <laughs> like, you know the way how you sit on the bonnet and shit? Yes. Fine. But sure, you have the fiberglass bonnet now. Lad, you're, you sit on your bonnet a lot. Yeah. You're going to forget that. I know. That'll be my fault. That'll be fine. But like... <laughs> I'm, not gonna lie, I'm probably going to laugh for like 10 minutes and then feel really bad. <laughs> I will too. Just good. because I have already pointed it out to you. Yeah. If you're going to do it, I'm like, ah, ah, told you so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know that I'll do it. I'll be fine if I do it. But I know like where I've driven up through Main Street back home, like, and like when the lads might just kind of half plonk themselves on the bonnet. Let the moment someone plunks themselves on the bonnet, the car's getting pulled up, and I'm like, the bonnet needs to be refixed, like, because it's fiberglass, it's going to have a dent in it, it's going to be cracked. It's not even going to need to be fixed, it's going to have to be replaced. Yeah, yeah, but more than likely going to have to be replaced. Unless you know good fiberglass, man. Do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. But, oh, I don't know what else to say. Car's finished, now we have the summer long of recording podcasts on the road. Yeah. Mine's still not finished. Trips. I still have to buy halos because I have the halos, but I need to um, because water got into them and like. Oh, you've you've three little. Yeah, at the right at the bottom. bottom. You it's actually, if it was at the top. Yeah, it's actually so annoying because you have certain colors. I think we can turn them green, and they all are green. Yeah. But if you turn them red, those three down there are yellow. They'll go a different color, or oh. I'm like balls. So you actually notice that, like, so it only we can only pick one color. White, I think there's still a tinge of a tinge different of color, there. but um, I need I, new dim. Yeah, my dim is fucked. It's also, need new engine mounts. I have them. No, I have them ordered. They're on the way. Um, I was gonna say no, sure, mine were perfectly so fine. We went to Honduras, a new spot I have located at home, and to Honduras. Oh, we were supposed to go to. Um, Shout out to Michael Scullion for the. Um, What's the place that we normally go? For the new... Nic- What's the... Nicaragua. Nicaragua. We were going to go to Nicaragua the last night. I just didn't... I was just like, nah, but... It's 12 o'clock um, at night, I got too tired. Fuck, if you text me, I would have met you there, like... <laughs> um, oh. And... So I went to Honduras. And... I said, fuck it. We'll do the horseshoe. And... I kicked her. Got her going. And she gave a violent shake. I stopped her straight away. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't want to be doing it with your binge amount. Uh, no, you see, sometimes it's fine if you go one way. It doesn't budge. It was when I kicked her and she went the other way. Yeah. It nearly went sideways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nearly pop out of place. Yeah, so. Lovely. She's packed up at home now, waiting for, I co- wait, waiting till I come back. Yeah. To um, oh. get injured months. <laughs> Yeah, engine mounts to be here when I come back so. yeah it does another thing I had brand new engine mounts and gearbox mounts in what else have I I don't know but there's so much money gone into that car I just don't know it's but look it's she's like a new car now oh, it's it's so worth it it was it's just deadly knowing it's all done um but yeah like but do you know what so you did all your wheel bearings and stuff, yeah? Yes. Yeah, you did everything. So I didn't have time to do yeah. mine. And when I started driving the car, then after doing it all, it was like, 
wheel bearing started to go do you know there was like little bits yeah. that I didn't have time to change and yeah we all know how that one ended but uh like it, it, everything you can think of in that car was changed like there's what's what's those sport beams called again on the back for the do you know, the chassis members yeah they're the ones that hold up the petrol tank as well no those, they don't actually, but people just call them the petrol tank straps. No, they technically do. They don't. They go over. They go under. They're holding them up as well. You have your small little skinny yeah. shitty petrol oh, straps, yeah, and then like you have two. and then you have your proper lengthy ones with, only, the, if, with the cup. If they fall down, she'll just rush them. Yeah, my God, my one was rushed. It, mm. it was kaput. Did you and get it, new ones? I did. Yeah, uh, of course I did. Where'd you get them? Yeah, some letter on Clarny. Clarny. Okay. Yeah, because I bought something off them before. Well, so. get mine off Mark Soares. Oh, yeah. No, because these were cheap out and they were actually perfect. Deadly. I was like, mint. Because the worst thing was, I only needed one. So who's who's going to sell one on his own? Yeah. You're going to sell a set. So I was like, like, you know what? It's fine. I'll just buy it. I just wire brushed them, cleaned them, painted them. Spot on. I think they're green. Because I have a little thing of underneath the car now of the sub from uh, words. Sub from? Yeah. The front subframe is green now, including the anti roll bar is green. You've got your rear subframe green. Diff we painted black and everything. All the other arms are black. What else do we paint green? Oh, then the little petrol straps and then the big strap as well is green. So you've all, it all shuts. It's going to look nice for the NCT men. As I was saying, there's only going to be two people to see that. Yeah. Me and you. Yeah. And okay. the truck is going to be the NCT man. Yeah. Unless. She no, don't say it. I know, no, 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 no. I know exactly where you're going with that. No, I'm not going to say it. No, no, no. But like, no, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm thinking. Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah. And that's bad. Yeah, that is bad. Yeah. I do not want that no, to happen. No, to either one of us. Oh, but Jesus, no, there's some. Monster. Well, if you do what your one did in the carting center, we might see it. Let I still think of it. Yeah, How? yeah. It, it man, me. she must be in third gear flat the way she went past me, and I was like, whoa. And Xing swung around and I stopped immediately and I went, Oh <laughs> we just went over. <laughs> you okay? You okay? Didn't say nothing. They were just You okay? Yeah. <laughs> You're the only man that could pronounce okay backwards. <laughs> yeah. Everything wheels, calls, exhaust. Cause we sure we made everything ourselves. I got loads of shit from Group D and the exhaust as well. It's a big old three inch from literally the Zuka. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the end of the manifold. It goes to a three inch, all the way to a cannon, and it's a cannon that I. So the small man bought it off a guard's son. This cannon, so a guard's son. Yes, it? yes, and it's. I can see why he was fucking made sell it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he was going putting it on his little one point four Corolla. And she would sound like a hairdryer. I literally was like, I didn't say a word. I just went, whoa. When he put her up to the back of it, and I was like, whoa. I, I was like, oh, it's cool. Like, oh, it's cool. But the moment he said, lad, this is way too big, I said, yeah, lad, I'm not going to lie to you. It's huge. I was like, that is sticking out kind of stupidly. And then I was like, look, if you want to make a deal, I have one there. It's smaller. It'll suit that. Yours would suit mine. So... <laughs> I swapped, but I gave him tires as well. I gave him four tires for his car, and now it's on mine. It's a cannon. It sticks out as well. It's what I wanted. I wanted one to stick out like. Yeah, it's. I'm only waiting to have a complaint from that's the guard. That's why I was asked you to the silencer fit. Ah, haven't put it in yet. Need to get one. Yeah, I must get a silencer now. Uh, Just for my own sake, because like I love driving the car, but. Coming into the summer and I'm going to be working in the bar. It's coming home at three and four o'clock in the morning, and all you can hear going up my hill is yeah. Uh, like she, she, the girlfriend would have the car for work, and her mother is on the other side of Dingle, and she hears. She just all she has to do is stand outside at literally the same time every day. She'll hear the car start, and then she'll le- hear her leave. Pretty cool. It is. Pretty it's pretty cool. cool. Like, because the last day I took the car and uh, from her mother's house and she had the window opened and literally she could hear me leave all out tingle. And sure, there was a big 
bang noise that came off it twice as well so <laughs> it's only a moment of when it's uh, going to get pulled over yeah so you need to get a lot better at um, timing when you make her bang no boy yeah so there's going to be a day where you get pulled and I'm going to be like I'm not stopping <laughs> if he needs me he'll ring me no I'll tell you about the little story it's not going to you. it wasn't me driving the car I was in the golf I was behind the Lexus. Have you figured out how to do what you have? Oh, she knows how to do it ages <laughs> ago. She's, she's kicking up more than I am now at the moment. <laughs> um, so we we were down by the har- harbour, just, you know, went for a d- d- dog walk. We went for walk the dog. A dog walk? Yeah. Went, walk the dog, got into the car, and I was going with Dylan in the golf somewhere to the shop. And she was leaving, and Dylan was like, go on, go on, go on, give them a bang, just because they were, there was people watching the solar eclipse, and they were like, they're not going to see it happen, so leave, uh, show them Hiroshima, like, and I was like, no, 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 no just, just, just leave. And anyway, she was driving off, being so loud, and then it's, it's near the aquarium, so you have literally the car park there, so you stop there, yeah. and then you drive on. And as she was driving on, and the next one, she was getting louder and louder, and her hand went on to the key. It was about to do it. What did we see driving past us? It's quite The big old jeep. Oh. And uh, all we could do was just, no, don't, don't, don't. And, oh, lad, she almost done it. Like, I literally went home, and uh, literally, we pulled over, and I went, go home, just go home. <laughs> and she's just, all you see is thumbs out the window. <laughs> no matter. Um, oh. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah. So I literally I went home and I was like, "How are you after that one?" <laughs> I shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, it was just the fact that you know it was just getting louder and louder. You knew it was gonna come, and it, oh boy, part look that it just didn't. I remember there was the night you were here at your car, and oh, it was in Clan at the rally in the slab. <laughs> Mm-hmm. There was a couple of ways to hundreds there. Now one of them did it. Right? But they were like driving out raving and I was just waiting for the bang. bang. And I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, I feel like they could do it. You gotta do it. But it was where it was, you couldn't do it. Because there was livestock in the shed. So yeah. obviously if they went nuts inside in the fucking shed. Yeah. It's not nice no. as well for them. No. So. And like the passage we were in, like you could barely get the two cars. Like we'd pull in your mirrors to get down the passage, like. And that was some fucking crack. That was some crack. That slab. Yeah. But yeah. um, I'd say. Oh yeah. Is that? It's it. Is it? So that's everything. I think. That's for know. the build anyway. Um, yeah, the build was yeah yeah seats. Round up of the week. Did you buy anything this week for the car? Oh, I had to buy tax. Sure, the car was in the shed for so long. Three I months. I had to buy tax. <laughs> I had to back tax it as well. Oh, lordy. Yeah, I don't know how long it was, but I had to back tax it. It yeah, was fine. I, I got three months. It'll get me past oh, a little tax. Actually, I bought tax as well. Yeah. And I got two inch amounts. Nice. Yeah. That was sort of a, I swear there's something else I bought for the Lexus. I don't know what. You hear it? What's so, that? Car in additions? Yeah. No, uh, motorbikes. I heard them this morning. There was about 20 of them past the house. I was like, Oh, actually, well, well, while we were on the way over here, um, we met like a vintage run. There was some nice stuff at it. Oh, yeah. Some nice stuff at it. Um, a lot of Mark II golfs. Yeah. There was a Audi 80. And there was one Scooby. Silver? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's from. I think he's from Dingle. Or else he just works in Dingle. Yeah. No, she was nice, no, to be fair. Because there's a nice blue one as well, but they're old who own it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Most lads who own Subaru are getting on in years. Like. Oh, no, this one is like 60, like. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, there's a, the silver one, he's about mm, 30, 35, I'll say. I think. Put bastard, no, it's probably like 28 or something. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I think that's everything for the Lexus. The big build, the big... St- yeah, it was stressful and it wasn't, you know. 
we had to it was stressful and it wasn't yeah it was and it wasn't do you get me like no I don't want to be honest <laughs> you're stressed you're not like you would be stressed and then you wouldn't be stressed yeah because so, we had the minion slaves like <laughs> it was handy it was handy so but like sure if, oh boy the amount of money we spent on food was reckless there was at least 100 euros every night on food for takeaways for the lads just to feed the lads eh? yeah Thank God I did mine by myself. I couldn't. I couldn't. I would say that was fine. Not saying that, like, if anyone helps me, <laughs> I'm not going to buy him food. Obviously, I'm going to buy him food, but fuck me. Uh, nah, see. 100 euro every night for eight weeks. But, <laughs> but see, what just annoys me is the fact that we started it on Wednesday night. Just put it up on the lift. We had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday was a bank holiday. It was off Tuesday anyway. That was the plan to have it done those days. And what's so annoying is it would have been done except for the rust like, and, and that, fire yeah that's what see it wouldn't have went on fire if we didn't yeah, have to fix the no. rust so like but that's what I mean like if I didn't because you went to fire it delayed you another couple of days yeah or? so the fact that I had to do fix the rust if I didn't have to touch anything with rust it would have been done those five days I would have literally built the whole car top to bottom literally it was just so annoying we had the parts and everything sitting there just gathering dust waiting to go on the car because we were literally just fixing rust mm-hmm. but you know it's better now that it's welcome, done welcome to Ireland like uh, in 20 year old cars no it's only because it was English it's a problem so yeah, main thing is now anyway it's all fixed so, and Schultz it shouldn't rot anymore do you know remember the way they said my car was under sealed the red one yeah yeah. they only did the arches so yeah, that is why I am pulling everything down. Moreover, where I live, yeah. I don't know about you. You're living where your car is parked. No, oh, yeah. You're some bit away from salt. Do you know? No. Sure, that's at work. It's right next to us. Oh yeah, but like. <laughs> and that's every day. Yeah, true. That's six days a week now. Look. Very true. But you know, it is. But yeah, salt right. Is a killer. I I I'd say I just leave it at that. That's it for this episode. I think. Is, There'll probably be clips of pictures of the uh, yeah the the nice the old burnt seas, and then Videos the video the of its time. own little YouTube video for the build. So keep an eye out for that. Follow us on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook. I taste the gobshite. It's all the same. Um, we will soon be on Spotify. We are. I am in the process of getting us on Spotify. Um, few little minor things to change before we do that but we'll get there um so yeah for now don't do anything we wouldn't and god bless